On this week's Settlemeyer Nursery Nursery Know How, we're planting Thuja Green Giant privacy trees. I've got our crew with us today, and we've actually chose the excavator to do this project since it's a large project, and we're working with larger nursery stock. Uh, our hole's already dug, prepped. We've actually got all our nutrients in there. We're using Biotone Starter Plus today, along with lime, gypsum, phosphate, and then we'll top dress it with our custom nursery slow release blend of fertilizer. I'm gonna pop the root ball right out of the pot. We're gonna soften up our uh, pot, pull it out, let all that good material go in there. Pot gets tapped off. And uh, if somebody will show me a spade, we're gonna take our little spade here, light duty spade, break those roots up. Top, side, bottom, roll the ball. Now keep in mind, it is January. So if your root ball is frozen, we don't do this. We wait till it thaws out. So we've already got our nutrients in there. Our root balls broke up. Rahelio, if you'll just roll that over a little bit. Our spot is actually right there. We've done a little bit of pre-measure. Nice big wide hole. And we'll set the tree right there. Check our height. And keep in mind, we're working on the privacy, so we want them straight in a line. The man says right there. So now, guys, we've got our tree placement, and we're gonna be adding our compost soil amendment. It's gonna go around the root ball. This will help break down our clay. Give some organic nitrogen to the root system. We'll get everything covered up nice and tight. And then we'll show you how to do a bowl or a berm on the lower side to catch that natural rainfall. This is where you need to look at your tree. Your left to right, your front to back. This is where you use the old heel. Every tree has to get the heel when it's done. In case 60 mile an hour wind comes through here, we hope it's gonna stand. <clears throat> Once you get two or three, Step back and look at your line. So guys, we've got our green giant planted on this slope. And now I'm gonna show you how to make the water retention bowl or berm on the lower side to take advantage of capturing that water when it rains or when you have to hand water. Uh, simply take your rake, rake some of your excess of soil up around your drip line. Not a lot to this, just need to do it. Now on the back side, we're actually gonna kinda keep it level so that water flows in off of our slope. So a lot of times I'll use my rake and then I'll use my shovel. This will be covered with our mulch when we're done. A lot of times you gotta get in there with your hands to get that soil off the trunk flare. And you can actually make a little, little hand mode if you need to whatever you desire. Just think, if the water's gonna run down the hill, is it gonna be caught or is it gonna keep going? And guys, that's it.